First, you need to be aware that every laser you do is a mix-up in and of itself. You can either laser or aerial, and each has their own pros and cons. If you continue to use aerials at them, they can counter it with their own defensive moves or by avoiding it. But this is beaten by lasering again instead, which stops their momentum and allows you to dictate the pace of the match. If you only laser, however, they have time to work their way in on their own terms. Each time they move forward is a chance you could have dare or nared them to start a combo. TLDR, if they move forward, it gets hit by your aerial, and if they do something defensive, your lasers can gain control. This concept is crucial. Now when you laser, take a good look at the distance between you and them. This determines how you want to approach the neutral game. At super far ranges, of course you can just simply jump towards them and laser again. This is pretty self-explanatory. The most optimal range to be in is directly outside their jump out of shield attack range. Most Falcos get to this range but then immediately jump in, which is not only an overly common approach, but it also gives up the stage control you've gained from your lasers. You have immense pressure from this range and can only be hit if they hard commit to a wave dash forward out of shield. Simply adding one or two extra lasers before you decide to go in deteriorates their shield and often forces a bad decision or at least a retreat away from center stage. At closer ranges, laser to forward tilt and jab is really useful. This forms a wall in front of your opponent so that they can't get in. Essentially, they should be locked down during the whole duration. Alternatively, a shield stop back air or a turnaround up tilt can accomplish the same thing as long as it's spaced. If you're slightly too close, dash dance, shield stop, and laser again. This avoids hits if you landed too close at first and also changes up your laser timing to make it harder to predict and power shield. At super close ranges, you have a lot of mix-ups. Laser grab, laser shine, and laser shine grab are all good options depending on how long they like to hold their shield. You can also laser instant pullback near to try and bait shield grabs. This covers everything on the ground, but once they establish control of the air, you'll need to know some of the countermeasures Falco has in part 3.